Welcome to another episode of the 64-Bit Legends. I am Bobby, the best in the business caboose. As always, looking for that hot tag. My tag team partner in the podcast industry, Melvin, the chosen one, Troy. What's up, Mel? Not a whole lot. I'm fucking hot. getting a hot oh, tag. Oh, Jesus. Getting a hot tag. Shit's <laughs> flying everywhere. Um, this is episode 60. We were just talking about it off air. We're yes. almost to our, uh, you know, monumental 64 episode. I was going to say bit, but it's not a bit episode. It's no. a 64th episode, and it's going to be fucking huge. It's, it is going to be huge. I'm excited for it. We're going to do some, I think we're going to do some big stuff for that uh, in celebration. It's going to be great. I don't want to give away secrets. No. Though. We're going we're gonna to leave it up as a mystery for right now. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pumped for it. Yeah, I'm excited. So am I. Uh, we got some good ideas in the book. Hopefully, we yeah. can execute them properly. Um, we are two days removed from Hulk Hogan taking down the World Trade Towers in yes. 2001. R.I.P. Hogan. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, something like that. <laughs> um, 21 years removed. Um, pretty much everyone our age knows where they were. That, um, yeah. When that happened, I, I dude, I was just uh, talking to um, uh, Dave. Not mm-hmm. not fat Dave, but the other Dave. Yeah, yeah. Um, saucy not one. the famous Dave, the saucy, saucy one. Dave. Yeah, saucy yeah. Dave, Dave Sauce. Um, and I was telling him, I don't think I knew until about fifth hour. Oh, 9-11? Yeah. When it happened? I don't think I knew until like after lunch. <laughs> Yo, well, yeah, nobody, nobody really knew. I remember it was like, I think I had, it was in ninth grade. I had, what was the math? Was it algebra we took in ninth yeah. grade? Yeah, I was in French. I was, yeah, I remember I was doing Au algebra. Revoir. And I remember somebody was like, the rumor was that the that we got bombed by the Japanese, and I was like, man, they really took their time to get revenge on us. <laughs> they fucking they just plotted this out. Yeah. And then I went to lunch, and they're like, yeah, can you believe it? The Japanese bomb. I don't know who started that rumor in the school, dude. But you know, it was probably like <laughs> fucking like uh, Justin Claus or something. <laughs> you know, it's someone like that. Yeah, and then 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 they real they revealed that it was a because someone had the TV. I think it was I was in technology class. Well, they I remember they had the two TVs in the cafeteria. Like oh yeah, that's wall, right, that's and that's right. where I saw the news coverage. Maybe they I had saw the news that. coverage on. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I was in French class learning a different language, and you know should have been probably learning like Arabic or something. Yeah, that's true. Well, that was that was a it was a crazy time, and then but then. I remember later in the year when we were just, I don't know what, I think we went to Afghanistan. We were just blowing shit up. Like, uh, oh, I thought you meant like we went. Like, no, 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 like no. Like we no, went like, on a class trip to Afghanistan. As a, as, <laughs> Check as a, out the lay of, lay yeah, of land. Fucking Dick Cheney rolls up. Hop in, boys. We're going for a ride. <laughs> it's a lot of dirt <laughs> out here and caves. No, we were, it was, uh, when when the military went over there, we were like, I remember we were watching that in a Spry's tech class. Nice. Or it was like intro to technology, and we he was like, he's like, all right, guys, we can watch the war, or we can we can you know we can do whatever this um, curriculum is. Yeah, it was like some. Uh, uh, aerodynamic thing that he wanted to teach us and we're like no we'll just watch the war and it was like then the night vision and fucking shit was getting blown up half the class is just sleeping because they don't care yeah that's that's the crazy (laughs) thing yeah it was in the morning and so everyone was like there's people with their heads down they were just like yeah put the war on so i can just fucking chill (laughs) let me fall asleep to george bush's voice (laughs) yeah you know what's crazy is like like that nowadays people would be I, I'm, I know I remember there were people that were kind of scared and I get it. Yeah, I get it. You were just scared and people were, you know, there was people that were kind of crying a little bit. Uh, understandable. But I think I think today now this makes me sound like an old man. I'm just realizing like back in my day, back t- in my day, t- I walked to school yeah, to and from school and uphill in the snow. Yeah, if it was a 9-11 today, everybody <laughs> would be crying. Like a big baby. Back I, in my day, we, we we went home and took our shovels out and wanted to go to war. Yeah. I was just like, hey, let's, let me do my homework in technology class. <laughs> I want to do, I didn't do my, I didn't do my history homework for the next class. So I'm going to do it now while the war's going yeah, on. Yeah, technology class was probably on like those fucking big ass Apple computers. 
No, no, it was in the. Uh, oh yeah, we didn't have computers. It was that <laughs> we, big, didn't have, we didn't have computers no, no. in technology class. The technology class. Uh, did you not have this? I didn't class? take technology okay. class. I took the tech class in 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 junior high. Oh, that okay. was like mandatory, or I don't know if it was mandatory. It was like one of three classes you could have took. Yeah, I I think I I did drafting in junior high. So yeah, this one it was it was that big. You know, in the front of the school. You walk in. Yeah, yeah, I know where. where yeah, it was so at. it was like yeah. that, but it was a huge class yeah. over there, and so it was that whole thing. Part of it had some desks, and the other part just had like workstations for you to like, hey, build a model airplane. <laughs> it was a cool concept. I got a D. <laughs> But it, like, look, look at like that technology class versus like a technology class that would be taught today. Oh, like they'd probably be like, all right, take out your phones. Yeah. All right, download this app. Go into the settings. Yeah. And, and, like you know, just fucking crazy shit. You're sitting there without even a computer at your fucking desk. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have a computer. You're like I make was... this wooden airplane that just the, like those cardboard ones where you just slide the fucking yeah. wings in the other one and just throw it. We would there, no. I take it back. There was one computer and you could play worms. You remember worms? It was was that like, like Snake? No, no, no. They were like these little worms. It was a computer game. And they were like these little worms, but they had all these weapons. And it was like, it was turn-based. It was a bit of a strategy. And you would launch an attack on an opposite no team idea. worm. I have no idea what you're talking and about. And it was a cool game. And it would blow up the thing. And then whoever's the last person standing wins. That was, if, if you did all your work on time, you could sit for the rest of the hour and play that game. <laughs> that was about it. Do you remember there was a game like, you remember those uh the scientific calculators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't yeah. there a drug game that you could somehow get? Uh, I knew there's people who played Mario on there. Uh, people were playing like uh, this drug lord game, and you would, could sell drugs. No, I don't and, know about uh, this. It was like you know, I want to sell heroin for this price and like <laughs> shit like that. A graphic calculator. Yes, and I was like, man, this is awesome. Like, like no, T.J. Williams, like, let me borrow it, and I'm like, dude, this is cool. But like, I had like, I like that you said T.J. He's like the cleanest dude. He's a cop now. I like, know, but <laughs> so, um, so he gave like because my scientific calculator was like probably five years old at the time. Yeah. And so it was like really shitty for the time. And like, I was like, I can't get fucking drug games on here, <laughs> but I don't even know how people got games on there. Cause I don't know if you could even hook it up to the computer, to download something I, like I that. I think you could. Cause people, people had Mario on there. That's crazy. You could do at least like the first two levels of Mario. I think. Yeah, that was, um, <laughs> that was how did we? What were we talking about? Oh, it was, I was in tech class for nine eleven. No, or not. It was after nine eleven. We were but, watching the war. Yeah, we were watching the war. But that was that was a thing. It was it was uh. And then and then I've to, I know I've told this story somewhere before, but I didn't have a computer at home. My I didn't get a computer until I was in the ninth grade. That and, was ninth grade. Well, right. So it was supposed to come. Oh. On nine eleven. Well. That fucked up all the mail Dude, for like a must, week. You must have hated Bin Laden. I was so pissed. I was like, we finally get a computer and the fucking terrorists take it away from me. <laughs> God damn it. So I was going to get internet. <laughs> I never had an internet before. I don't know what the internet is. I know how to get to Yahoo and look up <laughs> cheat codes for video games. That's, That's all I wanted. I wanted. I wanted AOL Instant Messenger because I was missing out on cool stuff. We, I used My dad used to take me to the library. And that's yeah. what I would do. I'd go on the computer oh, yeah. and look up like cheat codes real quick. I'd be like, all right, Yahoo, like, mm -hmm. let me look up cheat codes. And, um, but I remember, uh, I forget who it was, but there was like a certain chick that we went to high school with and she was so scared that they were going to like bomb us next. I know who you're talking and about. I, and I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and I was, I was looking at her. I was like, well, why? Like, there's nothing here. Like, why would they <laughs> aim for Detroit? Yeah. And she's like, well, you know that like GM and that they can they can turn their uh, their factories into making tanks and stuff. And I'm like, I understand that. But how are you going to get the tanks there? That's true. Yeah, like <laughs> it's overseas. Yeah, I, I guess they could take it by ship, yeah. <laughs> but like this is going to be aerial. Like, yeah, you're, you're not going to have to worry about them fucking destroying the city of Detroit even more than it's destroyed. Well, yeah, I don't think well, I remember I wasn't uh, the Super Bowl uh, in that Detroit. That was 06. Was that 06? Yeah. Oh, never mind. I thought there was some there was some big event. I remember people were scared to go to. I remember though Cuz WrestleMania was like 05 maybe here oh, well, and then 06 was the Super Bowl. We had both of them real quick. There was th each other. there was uh 
Because I remember that year, I had the opportunity to go to Europe, go to Germany, mm-hmm. and I fr- I think it was going to be like in the in the fall, and um, my family, my aunt, my grand, my grandparents uh, were going to go, and I could have gone. And I asked my mom, I was like, "Hey, can I go?" And she was like, "I don't think it's safe." You know, this is not a safe time. You know, you don't know what's going on. And I get it. It was like a month afterwards. And they're like, hey, you want to take a trip to the other side of the world? Right. And so I had to pass that up. Fast forward to when I finally had to go in 2005. I go there. And that was when there was the London bu- uh, bus bombings <laughs> going on. And I was like, well, that's gr-. I waited five years, four years, four or five years to come here. And as soon as I come, then that's when there's more yeah, terrorist it, it, attacks. In, instead of having to worry about the Middle East, you're, you're actually worrying about Europe now. Yeah. Because then I get a call from my mom. There, there's bombs in the buses in, in England. And I'm like, well, I'm in Germany. So I don't think it's going to be so bad. But it's not that far. Right. I mean, it's... it's That's like senior year. I went down to Daytona Beach yeah. with a couple people that like I don't talk to anymore. But... um. Or didn't talk too much shortly after that. Mm-hmm. But anyway, um, we uh, we go down there and we're at Daytona and um, my mom calls me and she goes, I'm, I'm just making sure that you're okay. And I'm like, why wouldn't I be? And she's like, there's a shark feeding frenzy like five <laughs> miles from you. And I'm like, what? Like, first of all, like. <laughs> if there's a bunch of sharks, like you, you know, you like cannot like just not go in the water. Yeah. Like it's not like no, they're roaming the streets with knives. <laughs> it's like Shark NATO. It's the shark. Well, maybe <laughs> it's like a gang of sharks. They're yeah. just fucking. It's like, like the the street <laughs> sharks from Mars or whatever, or <laughs> bicycle mice from Mars. Wasn't yeah, the, there a shark one? It's just street sharks. Yeah, yeah that's right. what it was. but it was. They would have like leather jackets, <laughs> yeah. switch blades, <laughs> like flipping them like around, like yeah. switching them around. They're like, oh, oh you out of town, boy? Because I don't know. <laughs> yeah. This is shark territory. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look like you yeah. belong here, boy. <laughs> you go down an alley to shark eating like a half a person. You're like, you didn't see nothing. And then you got like <laughs> you got like the hammerhead in there. <laughs> Yeah. Like great white, they just, like the tiger shark he had a bunch of them. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh man, don't fuck with that hammerhead. He can see, he can see a very a large radius. <laughs> His peripherals. <Yeah. laughs> just, <laughs> just stand in front of him, though. He can't see. Yeah. yeah, as long as as long as you're thinner than a than <laughs> than four feet wide. You'll be safe. Just stay still. Least, as long as you're not a growing belt. Yeah. If you're a fucking you're sweat hog. Yeah, fucking sweat hog <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> as long as you're not a sweat hog piece of shit, you'll be fine. Oh, man. But uh, no. Well, yeah, that's that's what's great about. about I remember I, when I went to Germany, too, my mom was freaking out. I was like, well, I, remember she, I went to the doctor for something and uh, she was like, and I don't even know because I was like eighteen. I don't even know why she was in the room with me. Um, but because she did you get a lollipop after? No. Well, that was the thing. It's like at the, I most of the time I go to the doctor by myself. I don't know why she was in the room with me at all. <laughs> but like she asked the doctor, "Is like, well, what kind of shots is he going to need to go over there?" And he's like, "Europe's a Europe's a first world country. <laughs> You're not." He's like, "I don't know." They're, I thought you You're were not gonna I get thought, malaria. I thought you were going. You, you were going to the doctor after the trip. So, oh, no, so no. she's like, "What did my son catch? The German flu?" No, for some reason, I may have honestly. I may have been like legitimately sick or something for some reason, and maybe that's it was just the reason to to, to ask. But she was like, "Well, weren't you like really sick?" Oh, I was. I was that. I no. Yeah, yeah. I was. I was really sick that year. That's right. That was really sick. So it may, it may have been, it may have been uh, after that because it was around. That was I was really sick in the spring, and I went to Germany that summer. So that might have been why. It might have been like a follow up visit. And uh, yeah, she asked him though. She's like, "Yeah, what kind of shots is he gonna need? You know, is there like a, a Ebola or something or malaria?" And he's like, "No, it's Europe. That's the same he, shit we he, have." He's gonna come back with polio. <laughs> yeah, smallpox. I think that's what he said, though. I think I think I had to get like a fucking. He's like, I can give you a shot for tetanus. You want a tetanus shot? You're like, no, thank you. You're like, can I just not get any shots? Like, can I? Am I okay to just go? <laughs> but yeah, that's 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 moms for you. Yeah, uh, they just fucking constantly are worrying. Um, it, well, the then the other thing is they're always like on. I know 
my parents, I'm going to go over there probably in the next week or so. And I know for a fact they're already going to have, they're not going to start with so much Halloween decorations, but fall themed decorations, oh, scarecrows yeah. and things like that. And it's honestly, okay. Halloween is a big decoration year. You yes, ha- it is. Halloween, Christmas. You, you get you get some like Halloween people. Halloween people are fucking like they're enthusiastic about Halloween, man. They like, are. I don't. I think. I think they're worse than Christmas people. They are because Christmas. Christmas is you actually get you know typically you get a bunch of time off. Uh, if you have a if you have a nine to five job, you end up getting like, or, or you can start using vacation yeah. thereafter. Yeah, there's a that. lot of people that work like till like say December fifteenth and have the rest of the year off. Yeah, yeah. So you got like, so you get time off. It's a time to be around family. You give gifts. It's just like Chris that that period of like mid December till the first week of January almost kind of exists in its own little world. So I understand you can kind of like get wrapped up in this world of Christmas and consuming. Yes, and Christmas giving. joy. Yeah, I get it. Halloween, I don't get it. It's unnecessary. See, I love Halloween. Don't get me wrong. I love Halloween. Halloween's fucking awesome. But like, dude, today, today, September 13th. And mm-hmm. dude, there's this house, you know, a couple miles away from us. Mm-hmm. It's a corner house. Okay. Dude, fucking statues of every... Like movie monster, Michael Myers, Jason, Freddy, it, fucking uh, one of those like thirteen foot skeletons, um, a graveyard, and so they, the, I, the guy was actually outside. I was like, man, you know, a little early. He's like, well, I got a lot of shit, and you know, I like to display it as long as possible because he spent a lot of money. Oh sure, yeah. Four fucking trailers. What? He has four trailers. Because I, I told him, I go, I go. last year I saw two trailers parked out here. He goes, yeah, I got four of them. Why? And he's I'm, on a corner house. Why? So you, he doesn't really have a backyard. They're like side yards. Both yards are fucking full. And does he set these up himself? His family. And like, he, I believe he has like a little bit of like a haunted, like, like there's like a path that you could, like kids can walk. I, I would hate that. I... I for the for the listener, we're in my studio area, which this is changes pr- every time I'm here. <laughs> there, and I'm it's always, weekly. I'm always I was I'm always making tweaks for it because well I I need to make sure it's visually appealing for when I'm live on Twitch or and I like to just I, I want to get it set up so it makes sense and I think this and makes we're gonna sense. switch next week too. No no, no uh, at least is, we're, at least where we're recording this, this this is this is gonna be it for a while. I hate fucking with this shit. It took me all weekend, and part of my basement, because we're down in my basement, is still a mess. It's right. still a mess with all the other shit that I haven't put away yet. I, that's that's just this, not four trailers of shit. But I, it's, that sounds like hell. Do you ever? Okay, so obviously you've been to Halloween stores, Halloween Spirit, yeah. whatever. When yeah. they pop up. Do you know how much like those big statues are? They're like thousands of dollars. Oh yeah. Like this yeah. guy had to have spent like a hundred thousand dollars on his shit. It's unreasonable. I I hate it. And on top of it, you, it's not even a good holiday. It's I don't I personally don't like Halloween. See, I like Halloween. I don't. You could scare people. Boo. I don't you like know? scaring. You see, did people. you see did you see your face when I did that? You fucking froze up like a I, I like d- a Brendan Fraser. <laughs> I know I don't like Halloween. I don't like the thing because I I I hate the thing of like I hate going anywhere that I need to dress differently than I do on a regular day. That's because you're lazy. I don't. I hate it's, wearing suits. It's, I hate wearing costumes. Oh, after hate, watching Boardwalk Empire, by yeah. the way, when I when I make it, yeah, and you'll know when I make it because I'm only wearing suits. Uh, no, fuck. I'm suits. wearing a suit every day, like Steve Buscemi. Like Nucky Thompson. I'm fucking wearing a suit every day. And uh, then um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Um, I don't know. I'm going to wear a suit every day. Yeah. Well, and, oh, uh, dressing up. Dressing up for Halloween is fucking awesome. I love wearing a costume. I don't like, like it. I, we wear costumes all January for fucking Royal Rumble. Well, that's different, though. That's that's for entertainment purposes. This, uh, Halloween is for entertainment purposes. No, it's, it's personal. Like, I... <laughs> 
<laughs> like, okay, so, you know, near where we live, we're in the metro Detroit area. Yeah. There, you know, if you go, you know, t- not even 10 miles, but five, five, six miles yeah. north, you can get to some farmland pretty quick, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always wanted to, and they would probably get me killed, but I always wanted to just, like, dress up as Michael Myers mm-hmm. and, like, stand in the field, like, at night and just freak people out, but then I'm sure the ho- homeowner would probably shoot me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's that may happen. That may, I see, but that stuff I don't, I don't like. I don't like doing the, uh, I don't, I, I don't like doing the haunted houses. I don't like doing the, the fucking I, the candy, unless it's candy corn, it can go fuck itself. Candy corn's gross. It's delicious. It's fucking gross, it's dude. Fucking candy delicious. corn is fucking gross. It's the best, and candy especially of when all like time. people just like. Like throw it in your bag loose. Oh, it's the best. You get loose little candy corn. Ew. It just that's kinda... fucking disgusting. You get the pillow lint yeah. from your pillowcase on there. You it's get whoever's grubby hands. It on lived it. a whole life. It's oh, a fuck. You, it has a it has a tail. It has a story. I, that's the only that's the only reason like to uh, boost your immune system is to eat it. Yeah, but it's fucking gross. That's the why regular I, candy's fine. Um, that's why I survived COVID because I eat candy corn. <laughs> <laughs> no man eating ass is the way you c- c- uh, cure COVID. i i, I like fucking discovered that there's a formula i uh, don't want to get into that right now but candy corn's fucking gross it's delicious the regular candy's great the movies are great hocus pocus no hocus pocus two is coming out this oh, year it's probably gonna be a huge disappointment but hocus, hocus pocus one is fucking phenomenal um I, you get to dress up as your favorite villain or wrestler um you get to you get to do a whole bunch of shit. You get to go to Halloween parties and see oh. girls dressed up slutty. Like that's amazing. Uh, I you know I remember going because um, we were one of few that stayed home for college. Yeah, I used to you know we used to go up to Michigan State or Western Michigan and fucking go to these Halloween parties where chicks would be like you know I remember seeing a chick that she was wearing booty shorts and a bra with a tiger's like button up shirt mm-hmm. just or jersey like just wide open and i'm like what the hell are you and she's like oh i'm a tigers fan i, I can dig it but it's, I, I don't it's know an excuse for girls I to just, dress up like sluts and i love it i i i'm over it i'm over the whole like all i think about is like oh you're just you're acting ridiculous yeah but you can get away with it i don't yeah but i don't does I don't santa like claus it. act ridiculous going down everyone's chimney well yes but, uh, well okay halloween I think is a great holiday for the if you're between the ages of one and, and twelve. Forty seven. No. One and twelve. I don't wanna go I I think That's because you're a Debbie Downer. I'm over the Halloween party. I'm over the candy. I'm over all of it. And I'm over the fact that that's people cause, That's because you're a no fun Frank. You are a no fun Frank. So here's my personal rule. Here's the rule that I'm 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 gonna set as far as holidays go. And this we'll start with Halloween since we're on the subject and it's coming up. A lot of people will start decorating for Halloween mid September. Stop doing it. It's unnecessary. Halloween this year is on a what? A Monday? A Monday. So that means Friday. <laughs> You can decorate all you want no, 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 Friday. No, no, no. You, you, and you tear it down on Tuesday. No, no, that's no, it. No, no. The 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 first day you can is October first. No, you can have a whole no. month of Halloween. You, get, you, you get can have a whole days. month of Halloween because no. October. What else is going on in October? Sweetest day. I don't know when the fuck that is, but I know it's coming up. I've, something. Yeah. But you got you got Devil's Night, which is a Detroit thing, and you got fucking uh, um, Halloween and. You you can spend the month on Halloween because February you spend fucking two weeks on Valentine's Day. Everyone's got their fucking fl- hearts and shit out. December, you know, you get a whole month of Christmas. You get at least twenty five days. Plus, you get a couple days after Thanksgiving. Not so much. People don't really decorate for Thanksgiving and shit. But you get the month. You get the no. month for October because. Halloween is a unique holiday. It's cool, but September thirteenth to put up your shit. And I know these guys put up his shit beforehand because it was all set, or most of it was set up today. That's too early. No, you that's, get a that's month. definitely too early. You get. I will grant. This is what I'm going to do. I'll even. Here's my compromise. Originally, I said if it's on Monday, Halloween this year is on a Monday. Thirty first is on a Monday. 
originally I was saying Friday only. I'm willing to I'm willing to be flexible. The you have one full week. Nah, man. You, you have get, the Monday prior and then that's it. You get you get 31 days. No, you, you get, get 31 seven. days. 7 days. You get 31 days. It's you get a week, not a month, a week. No. If people get a birthday month, you damn sure you get you a don't fucking get Halloween a birthday month. month. In fact, if you're here's here's my other rule. If you're over the age of 21, you don't get a birthday. <laughs> Okay, you can have a birthday. You can go to work, and maybe they'll give you a free piece of cake. Maybe you'll get a card, but that's it. You, you don't sound get like nothing. a real no fun Frank. Right you now. don't get nothing. You're a Debbie Downer. This birthday, these middle aged people that take that you people in their thirties to fifty that are like, it's my birthday week. It's my birthday month. I agree no. with that. I agree. I, I agree town. with the birthday. I agree with the birthday. You don't even the, get a day. The, the bir- <laughs> you get nothing. The birthday. The birthday is selfish. It is okay. Selfish. So it's selfish. So because it's it's uh, obviously about yourself. But the Halloween. Halloween. You get a month. Halloween. No. You get a month. Or you're you're being a you're being a Debbie Downer. I think. So I, if you don't think so, everyone that wants to invite Melvin Troy, they're a fucking Halloween party. Unclick his name on Facebook and yep. make the fucking party private because yep. this guy is a no fun Frank. I'm not. Yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna like it. And I'm also gonna say this. I disagree with getting the whole month of Christmas. I think so. What day? Let me pull. Oh, the calendar. okay. What so day is you, Christmas all right, on? So you're telling me you don't want the whole month of, uh, for Christmas. When the fuck are you gonna get your shopping done? Well, because uh, no, no, you're no, no, gonna no, do no. your shopping all during uh, during December. So you don't want Christmas going on while you're buying your gifts. No, 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 no. So here's here's I'm gonna explain it. I'm gonna break it down for you. Okay. So this year, the 24th is 24th and 25th of December is a Saturday and a Sunday. Oh, that's amazing. That that's is amazing. That's, that, be- that's amazing for me. Is that are you being sarcastic? No. Oh, is that good? Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, because well, it's, yeah, that'll be that'll well, actually, be. Actually, it would have been better if it was Friday, Saturday, but yeah. Well, I mean, I I still get Friday, Saturday. I think or Friday and yeah, but I'm uh, I'm not normal. And I'm not. I don't have a normal. Thing. So anyway, so it's a Saturday and a Sunday. So you get to start your Christmas shopping, Black Friday. You could start your Christmas shopping. Yeah. Okay, but Christmas music. Does not begin, and decorations do not begin until the fifteenth. You have the. I will give one ten days. You have ten days of Christmas. Okay, I I'll agree, but you have to extend it to the first. The first of December. The first of January, thirty first. No, you no, get no, the no, week no. after. You got to take the, the tree after. down on the twenty sixth. No, 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 no. You no. take that tree down. Dude, my dad doesn't take the tree down until like March. <laughs> Well, it's a, a fake problem. tree, but that's a problem. You got to take it down. You don't. Well, here's here's the here's the kicker. You can you can decorate. Stores can decorate as early as the fifteenth. No stores. People's stores houses, gotta go as soon as Black Friday because no. as soon as you start buying, like you have to be in the mood to buy Christmas gifts. Everybody's so that's why the, in the mood. Well, that's why the stores have to. The stores you can't be like, oh, the stores can't fucking decorate until fifteenth and then you gotta take it down to twenty six. No, it's a fucking season, bro. No, it's not a yes, season. Yes, it is. It's the Christmas you do. season. Why do they call it the Christmas season? Because it's a season. No. Adult calls it the Christmas season. Everyone does. Look at Hallmark. That's, That's for all adults. It's all a scam. So listen, you have the stores. Can you can do your Christmas shopping starting Black Friday? No. Yeah, yeah then, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say are we no. Doing? No, no. No, you can't. But decorations and music do not begin until the 15th. The music starts November first. It should not. It should not begin but until the fifteenth. I see. I'm I'm one of those people that don't get pissed off on Chris about Christmas music. Well, you and I and I and I like because like everyone everyone's argument against that is well I worked in retail and I had to listen to these songs yep. all the time. Well, guess what? I did too. It wasn't exactly retail, but it was fucking Gordon fucking food service and Dollar Tree, and I had to listen to that shit. And I still don't uh, don't nah. mind it because I enjoy the season. That's- I like people. People like me. I'm almost like Santa Claus in very m- many ways. <laughs> I have a beard. I fucking give gifts. I do things that Santa Claus would do. So I enjoy being jolly. 
you can be jolly. During the Christmas season. Beginning December 15th, you can be jolly all you want until midnight, December 26th. No. Then you take the tree down, you turn the music off, you go back to work. Well, okay, so what if you have a Christmas uh, family party the weekend after? Cancel it. You got You're from a Scrooge. The, you got from the fifteenth to the twenty sixth. You got Dude, you got to squeeze it all in. How big is your heart right now? Because you sound like the Grinch. It's, it's, it's probably huge. three times smaller. It's way too th- big. It's no. It's <laughs> it's three times small. It's way too. You're you're the opposite of Jack when it comes to your heart. <laughs> He's four times faster. Four times slow. <laughs> this. So. <laughs> I'm telling you, and then on then New Year's, by the way, Robin Williams is rolling in his grave right now. By the way, here's the here's the other thing. New Year's nobody really like preps for it. It's usually just a party holiday, you know, like kind of like Thanksgiving. It's what just you, like a one day thing. What do you mean? New Year's. Oh yeah, it's like it's, okay. like a, it's a one day thing. Yeah, like New Thanksgiving is like a one day yeah, thing. New Year's Eve. Because it's shadowed by Christmas. Yeah, cancel it. We're getting rid of New Year's. No more New Year's. How do you know when the new year is? You look at a calendar. That's how you know. That makes. Then why would you cancel the New Year's party? The, the, it's not a holiday anymore. Why? It's, it's an excuse to get drunk. You you took. You, Dude, I took shrooms last year. It was fucking awesome. But <laughs> I saw the dr- ball drop, and then twenty minutes later, somehow I was in my room, and we were at a party. <laughs> I was like, we got to go because I'm going in the fucking space right now. I took fucking shrooms and edibles and it was double fisting all night with the head of my union there. <laughs> New Year's is canceled from now on. No. This is it. Stop being, <laughs> stop being that fucking vulture in the baby New Year fucking show and stop <laughs> trying to steal the baby New Year with the big ass ears. We're not going to the island for misfit toys. No, we're not because we're New Year's is done. You can celebrate it when you're up until the age of 12 and you're allowed to stay up till midnight. You can exceed your 9 p.m. bedtime. That's your, that's your celebration. 12? Yes. <laughs> If you're beyond the age so of 12, you're like, nope, you turn 21. You don't dare have any champagne at fucking no or 18. Nope. I remember I started drinking. I think I seven, 17 on New Year's. Yeah. Well, not anymore. Watching the wood. Shutting it down. Watching the wood for three Shutting years straight. You're not. No more New Year's. Okay. The other big holidays. Well, so what's what's the other holidays after that? So you get to Martin Luther King Day. Uh, You get the whole week. <laughs> Okay. Give you the whole okay. week after that. You you can see what demographic we're trying to aim at. <laughs> you get the whole <laughs> week of that because we need to we need to spend time. Juneteenth. You get the whole month of June. I think so. It's in the name. It, yep. Yep. It's one day of a of a month. Like the month is a day. We celebrate as a day. Wouldn't that be weird though? If like Martin Luther King Day, like people would put like I don't I don't think they do, but like they, a tree, <laughs> like not they, a tree, but like decorations, my, like his head. Like a, like a like paper a mache head, yeah, or that, or like a poster. That'd be frightening. <laughs> You're like, I don't right, even think I gotta put on my MLK, <laughs> my MLK decorations. Up. I don't even think MLK would want that. If he came, if he came back to life, he'd be like, oh, what? Ha- what am I walking in on? He's like, like, what is this? What the fuck? Why? Why is my it's paper your- mache head in the hallway? And you know, it's gonna be just some middle aged white people doing that. <laughs> no, no fucking. This is. That shit would be so funny. If you, if I, subur- some suburban white people shit. You walk into your parents' house and there's a paper mache Martin Luther King head in that's, the hallway. That's so funny. That's like the pe- the people from Get Out. Yeah. That's that type of yeah. shit. Oh, <laughs> we like your muscular tone. God. That's if you ever walk into a house and you oh, see that God. run because that's what's happening. You're going to get get outed. <laughs> You're going to get, get, get out. That's a verb now. <laughs> yeah. What didn't that? I only seen parts of it. Didn't they like, don't they like steal the soul or something? They from black people. They like that? brainwash them. They brainwash them and then they take they they brainwash them and they take like um, I thought the I thought the white people go in their body though. Isn't that the concept? Don't they like steal the black people's body or something like they, that? I, I, no, no. They, uh, the dude hypnotizes them. Oh, well, what was the? Well, so were they just like have them as friends? Well, they they have, they have them as workers. 
Oh, I thought they were like putting like like it'd be like an old white person would be like, no, nah, I'm gonna go into like a black person's body now. Uh, no, I think I'm pretty sure they uh, they because like the um the maid like snaps out of it for a second and then they they get her back in. Oh. <clears throat> Oh man, I gotta I gotta watch the whole thing. Well, it's been a while, so I, but I do think there is something to do with their bodies. But like, yeah, because exactly. because they they're well, I seen the part where they yeah they hypnotize they hypnotize them, and then there's I I thought they were just like yeah trying to like steal their anyway. My point is my point is Martin Luther King Day will make it a week, but no paper mache heads because that's some weird suburban white people shit, and nobody wants that. Nobody wants that thing. So suburban white people, they they always have like they 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 always like they're always down for like the uh, the cause the, do, the causes that don't matter. They go too far. They take a good thing and they go too far with it. Like I think I I, I got no problem with MLK Day. That's fine. You know he did, he did a bunch of good work. But yeah, they're the type. They're the type to be like, all right, we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna. <laughs> Do a big paper mache head or something, and it's like we, nobody's asking for that. Like we're gonna have yes, we're, we're gonna have a MLK pinata, and we want all the black people in the community to come down and get candy out of it. And yeah, it, it, see that's what I mean. That's what suburban white people would do that, <laughs> thinking they're being woke, and now you're pissing off two races. Yeah, <laughs> now you're like, and no Wait one, a would, no, that's not- <laughs> no one would show up. Yeah. The Mexicans are pissed because you're like, why are you stealing our pinata gimmick? That's ours. And then the black people are like, this is weird. This and then, is frightening. Uh, then other is like- regular white people are like, dude, <laughs> fucking white people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got to Anyway, that reminded me of a story I'll have to tell you later. <laughs> Someone, I can't, I can't say their name. But, um, All right. It, it, it Literally, that was the, the only part I can say is. That's what he said. Is this fucking white people, <laughs> dude? I, he just he looked at the guy next to me. He just like shook his head. Fucking white people, dude. <laughs> dude, I, I, I like I'll be with like Trey or T, dude, and like yeah. we'll be watching a movie or something, and like you know, the, especially like the blackbusters, dude. There's always the goofy white person, right? Or like Chappelle show, yeah. and like just like dude, we're so lame sometimes. <laughs> like just fucking white people, dude. Um, all right, so MLK is now a week. <laughs> uh, that is, and then after that, we have Valentine's Day. We have Day. President's Day. President, well, we've already condensed it because it was two holidays. Now it's one. Yeah, it was now George Washington and Abe Lincoln's birthday. So they've combined that into one. Oh, I didn't so know that. that's already been condensed. So I think we could leave well, that. That's one in alone. January. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So you can leave that one alone. And then we got Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. No, people don't typically decorate to it stores do we're done with it doesn't need to exist anymore no one likes it that's because you're no one likes that's it that's because you're a, that's because you're a lonely white guy uh, yeah. <laughs> nobody nobody likes it nobody says oh, i love valentine's day everyone's like oh man ah even if they're like married or they're in relationships they're like oh, it's so easy all you gotta do is get some flowers get some chocolates maybe a little no. gift Take them out to dinner, not on Valentine's Day per se, on a different day. So it's <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Just fucking, that's called a weekend. No, you just do that no, on a weekend. No, you dress up a little bit. Valentine's Day gone. Okay, you we get a little bit of that. pussy at the end of the night. That's a, yeah. No, whenever gone. yeah, <laughs> gone. Pussy's gone. All right, all cool. of it's gone. All right, we're gonna become. That's fu- cause, that's because you're a lonely dwarf. <laughs> we're gonna be fucking Puritans. No more. We're not we're not breeding anymore. No, nope, we're done. The human race is gonna be over. Um so what's March, St. Patrick's Day? That's a week. We're doing a, <laughs> a week. A week of drunk and disorderly. Yes. That one gets a, the Irish get a week. If yeah, I think it's fair. I think the Irish get a week. MLK day or week is a week. That's <laughs> MLK a, week. Yes, that's what we do. We celebrate the Irish and the and and the and the uh, uh, African American communities. Oh, uh, the and, holidays that made us. Yep. Be- and so April uh, Fool's Day. April Fool's Day is the whole month. You can just play tricks on people the entire fucking nope. month. I say April Fool's Day gone, dude. Wipe it out. Nobody likes it. Mel's world sucks. Nobody likes. What are you talking about? You get a week for fucking St. Patrick's Day. 
Okay, but I don't get April Fool's and Day. And you get a week for MLK Day. I don't get <laughs> I don't get New Year's <laughs> Eve. I barely get a Christmas. I get barely get any Halloween. And you haven't even mentioned Thanksgiving. Well, we're, we're going to get there. <laughs> we're gonna How, we started at Halloween. You skip Thanksgiving and yeah. Veterans Day and all that shit. Well, we'll get we're going to loop back around. So you're going to loop past Halloween again. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. So then I'm glad then I'm on this <laughs> podcast to keep everyone fucking straight. Jesus so then, Christ. Then we have uh, we have Easter, right? Easter, I think just cause it's fine. It's a Sunday. It doesn't even interfere. Do you don't need to get nobody takes time off anyway. It's a Sunday. It's a eat a ham. OK, eat a ham. <laughs> yeah. All right. Go to church, eat a ham. Uh, and then we got Memorial Day in May. Was there anything? So we got Cinco de Mayo, but yeah. that that's like a sink. That's like just Cinco de Mayo. You can't change that because it wouldn't make any sense. You couldn't make Cinco de Mayo like on the 14th. It's like happy Cinco de Mayo. And it's like <laughs> it's May 14th. It doesn't make any sense. Cinco de Cuatro Teen or whatever. I <laughs> yeah. don't know. 14 in Spanish. <laughs> Um, so we leave that alone. Then we got, then we got Memorial Day. Memorial Day is about the vet, the veterans, right? The, yeah, the, in the memorial, memories, the memories of the, lost the military. Soldiers. Okay. Memorial Day is on a Monday. You get a nice three day weekend there. Uh, I think I would make it every Monday in May. Yes. I think because we've, we've had a lot of wars, Okay, I think they started around either World 1812. War One or World War Two. Was it eighteen twelve? The War of eighteen twelve. I don't think it started from that. I think it was more of a modern <laughs> war. I think it was like a, yeah, I think it was the French Indian. One of the World Wars. I think it was in in reference to one of those. But we get enough the Polish Korean War. Since then, we've had like Vietnam. We've had Koreans. We fought them. Desert we, Storm. Yeah, we fought the desert. The whole desert at we, this point, dude, we fought every single desert. Every one of them I, at this point. Those giant tarantulas. We spent twenty years in the desert. I think we've battled them all. Hey, Jesus spent forty days and forty nights. Exactly. We, so. So we doubled up Jesus. So you get every Monday off for all of May. <laughs> That's what you get. All right, I can, I'll agree with that one. So that's a good. So see, you know, if, so if you see what's going on here, you may be losing out on a little bit of, you know, Halloween decoration time or Christmas spirit time, but you're making up so much more where it counts. We're putting it where it needs to go. I don't know. We're taking care of the minority communities. We're taking care of the Irish. They need to be taken care of. Because they're drunk. Because well, they're they're Irish. All right. They, we, everyone knows an Irishman, and they nah. they have problems. I mean, I can't I can't <laughs> argue with that because I do know an Irishman with problems. So yeah. All right. All right. Everyone knows we got it. This I is, I can't argue with take that. Take care one. of your local Irishman. <laughs> we all got one. If he's in need of a drink, get him one. Yes. If I'm he part, can't drink anymore, don't get him a drink. I'm part Irish, so I I can I know of a few. <laughs> So, anyway, I hate the bagpipes. Yeah, I'm not into that either. Um, so where we, every Monday for Memorial Day, it's Memorial Month. Juneteenth is the June one. Yeah, that's just all, that the is, whole month. You take off the whole month. You get the whole month. It's like being a teacher. Yep, that's what you get. That's what you get, white people, for being racist. <laughs> you get the whole month off. No, well, no, only black people get oh, it off. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, no, we're gonna white people just have to work. <laughs> <laughs> they I, thought, I thought like black people would get like the month off paid and then we just get the month. Well, off. yeah, it's like a PT. Well, if you work for a corporate company, they'll give it to you off. I mean, if you work in like retail, good what luck. A, okay. What if you're in an interracial relationship? Um, No, you could do it because if you do a Jewish holiday, I, I've, I've got Jewish people in my family and they're married in and they still take off like the different holidays like for that. The 17 like days the of Yamaka, Hanukkah. Stuff. Yeah, Hanukkah and all that. Happy Chinooka. Yeah. Did you <laughs> Have you uh heard that? What, what from, that uh, from I think it was like Smokey Robinson or something. Like Oh, on the radio? Yeah, yeah, was, yeah, 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 yeah. He did like a cameo and like he's like Happy Chinooka. Yeah. I don't know what Chinooka <laughs> is, but Happy Chinooka. Yeah, yeah. Um so anyway, yeah, that's what you So yeah, you can you can you know, but you got to be in a uh, interracial thing to get to be able to <laughs> you, get in. You it. have to show proof of an interracial, yeah. interracial relationship. Yeah. So you get a whole month. <laughs> you go to work with like a picture of you and a black chick. You have to You're provide like, proof. See, I'm yeah. with I'm with her. Well, it's like it's like back in the see 
we're we're fixing we're fixing uh, the inequalities here. Remember that movie Chuck and Larry? They had to pr- provide yeah. proof that they were gay. Yeah, kind of the same thing. But Why don't you, gotta, you kiss him? Yeah, make yeah. out. <laughs> they did that in the courtroom. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, but that's what they got. But you know, obviously. You know, if you're if you're black, you don't got to worry about it. That you're, or I mean, you can kind of prove that. That's that's pretty easy to prove. You're like, hey, just look at me. That's we're good. All right, you get the whole month off. We're good. So yeah, that's June. July is Independence Day. July is Independence Day. Fourth of July. I think it's fine the way it. Just like Cinco de Mayo, it does. You can't change it from the fourth. It's got to be on the fourth. Yeah, but you it's can in the sell, name. I, I mean, well, Independence Day. The movie? <laughs> no, the, you just call it Independence <laughs> Day instead of the Fourth of July. Oh, uh, I mean, this is the day we celebrate our independence against aliens. <laughs> that's that's the, okay. So here's here's the way I look at it. As of right now, Fourth of July is just Fourth of July. It doesn't move. Okay. Speaking of which, you get to celebrate Fourth of July only on the Fourth of July. None of this shit where we're lighting off fireworks for three weeks in a row and everybody's got to have like their giant George Washington on their on their fucking lawn and fucking Who's got flags. a giant George Washington on I've their lawn? I've seen it. No, you haven't. I've seen it. And by the way, this here's the other thing. So the we've all seen people with their political signs. We've ha- I've seen Take them the, down. I've seen the Trump ones. I've seen the Biden ones. My governor is an idiot. My governor is an idiot. My governor is a, a wrestler. A, a wrestler. That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> Whatever it is, you don't get to put them up except for the fourth. That's your decorations, Fourth of July. <laughs> but you have to take them down the so next day. If you're. What the fuck? Yes. You got, that's so it. you're like, all right, the morning of the fourth, you're like, all right, here's my Biden sign. That's what and you then get. At like 11 at night. All right, let me take that Biden sign down. That's, that's all you get. You don't get to fucking do anything else other than that. That's all you get. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. It's here's, here's what was driving me crazy recently. So. We have an, you know, we have elections every year, but yeah. there's the big one. The big one's the presidential every four, and then we get like this one. This year's a big one for the governor and shit. Yeah, this one's the governor. So it's like every two years we get a kind of a big one, whatever. I, the fucking last year, I was seeing everyone is had the had the Bidens or the Trump signs, and I'm like, dude, it's over. We we've already we're, yeah, but we're it done. says Trump twenty twenty four. Oh, it does. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them do. I, that's <laughs> or it says like let's go Brandon. <laughs> I forgot about that. I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> let's go Brandon. I think they're so chanting dumb. "Let's go Brandon," that and it's like so clearly dumb. "Fuck you, Biden." That was so fucking dumb. I forgot that was like a moment. <laughs> oh God, NASCAR! You, you know what they're? You know what I heard about they're doing? I got. I don't know all the details on it, so I'm, I this may be bullshit. I don't know, so we'll find out <laughs> Who later. Who cares? This whole podcast bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking. Thank you to our look, listeners. I'm looking the. I think. I'm right now. I think so far we've. Been, I. We've accomplished. I think we've been able to accomplish <laughs> pissing <laughs> off every group of white people so far. I think we're doing good with the minorities. We haven't said anything too bad. We, listen, we're giving we're giving MLK Day a week and Juneteenth <laughs> a month. A month. We get the whole month. Well, they do. I don't get it. <laughs> I, I, I gotta. I gotta find a black girl first. Yeah, I just gotta go. To, I gotta. I'm like, look, I need this month yeah. off. Yeah, I need it. <laughs> Please, Dude, you watch people on Tinder being like, "Listen, we're looking. I'm looking only for interracial because I don't want to work this month." That's what it's that fuck, it's, it's fucking got, white people. It's got pictures. That's fuck, it's got pictures of you and your wife. It's yeah. like, look, we're we're looking for a third just for the month. They're just like fucking white people. They're at it again. Yep, they just fucking they won't, white won't people, stop. dude. I think <laughs> I'm pissing off the Christians with the Christmas thing. I know they're mad. I'm sorry. But you got it. You don't get it. You don't get to have it. Hanukkah's only eight, eight days. Eight days. Kwanzaa's some days too. I don't know. How I don't know. I'm giving. I'm giving but Christmas ten. I think Kwanzaa I think was fair. made up in like the sixties. 
Was it? Yeah, I think that. It, I don't even know what it is. It's like. I thought it was like some African holiday. Yeah, it's it, but it's made up. Like it's not. What? It doesn't. Ha- yeah, it's it's like relatively new. I did not know this. Or at least I believe that is true. <laughs> so fact check me. So anyway, Fourth of July. That's the only time you get to put up your fucking political signs. That's it. And you can shoot fireworks. What about at. election season? Nope. It's illegal. Can't do it. <laughs> it's illegal. We're just shutting it down. Word of mouth only. That's how you get the that, old fashioned way. That would be awesome if it really was illegal. Yeah. And like cops were like walking around with like spray paint, like black spray paint. And you <laughs> would just spray paint like an X through it <laughs> on your lawn. The only way this is my this is my rule for we're going to fast forward to election day. We'll go back. We'll cover. Uh, but uh, no, we're good because that because we, we skipped over Halloween. Let's get to election day in November. Election Forgot day. about Labor Day. Oh, Labor Day. And right. Veterans Day. Well, all right. So here's here's the thing we do. Labor Day, same thing as Memorial Day. All Mondays off. All Mondays off. September. Every Monday in September. What about 9-11? Was that on a Monday this year? I, I, oh, it was a Sunday. Sunday, but do we get 9-11 Is that off? A, um, yeah, let's fuck it. Let's do it. Let's just fucking throw that in there. Since we're limiting our 4th of July celebrations, 9-11, I, here's my thing. 9-11 is like 4th of July part two. Okay, we get that. So then you can then you get one more day to here's, put up your political here's a, signs. Here's a crazy shoot idea, fireworks. right? Crazy idea. Yeah, people may not like it. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Hey, I'm forewarning you. This may not be a popular okay thing. All right. So Fourth of July, you have the hot dog eating contest, right? Yeah. Annual hot dog. Like, what if on nine eleven, you have people build stuff with Legos? I, I think I know where we're going with this. Just saying. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to say the rest because you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah Good yeah, idea. Yeah. Bad idea. I'd give it a few more years. Okay. All right. Maybe we'll roll that out in 2030. We'll just. That'll All right. be. Yeah. Because we'll, most of the people that witness this isn't alive. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So, All right. I just wanted to throw that out there. It could be like an annual thing. Yeah. Like, oh, man, I've won the Lego contest four years in a row. <laughs> Anyway, so <laughs> fucking that song by Miley Cyrus, Wrecking Ball. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's be a whole new meaning. So listen, Labor Day, you get every Monday off. Yep. Look at how much better this is. We're cleaning I, up the I holidays. I still dude. don't think it's better. You know what? But you know what? Well, I think it's better to some some do, degree. But do you, do you notice a theme, though? Decorations to are, are, are to a minimum. Why don't you like decorating minimum. your house? I just told you I hate even just living in the house. Look at this. Look at this around then, me. Then live outside. I would if I could survive the elements. I'm a soft man. I can't do it. I'm, I'm a, a soft man. I can't. I can't do that. Oh um, God. So fucking S A W F T soft. So nine so eleven is Fourth July Part Two. You can shoot fireworks only for the day. You put up your political signs <laughs> only for the day. Shoot up 9-11 for fireworks? Well, yeah. I thought we were on ele- going to election. Well, yeah, we're going to go to election. Well, I needed to cover September. All right. We covered Halloween. Halloween, you get... I'm giving you... I Originally, I started with you get the you get the day. I'm giving no, them, you, you started with Friday to like the weekend. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, now I'm giving you a week to decorate. No. Th- 31 days. But there, no, you, get, you get all of the month of October to decorate. But here's okay. No, you don't get the whole month. No, yeah, you no, do. no. Yeah, it's you out do. of control. You get. You it's got, not out of control. It's you, out of control when you start fucking September thirteenth. It's okay. not out of control when you start October first. I've given you. Look at what I've given you. Every Monday for <laughs> May and September, you're off. Yeah, but there's if no you're black, you get all of June off. If you're you get a whole week for Martin Luther King Day. A whole week for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Now get, uh, wait, so the MLK day is, are you uh, are you black to get the whole the week no, off, you or is that do, everyone? Because that was like same with St. Patrick's Day. Are you Irish? No, you could be bo- you could be all you can. It's all. Do you have to take a twenty three and because me? because that's about like coming together, you know. When you, like MLK, there was it's not about the going. It's about the coming. Yeah, it's 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 all about coming together and being like put our differences aside. I, mean, I guess until June, and then it's like no. <laughs> no, we're, we're we're now we're we're let's put our differences up. Yeah, and you get the month off. Yeah, you get the whole month off, paid, 
You got to put it in the budget. Yeah, you yeah. put it in your corporate budget. <laughs> your it's not budget. unpaid. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> You're like, ha ha. Yeah. It's, We're not paying you. It's like, what? <laughs> like, I don't know. You're laid off like for a, a month. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, I like not having to go to work, but this sucks. No, no. You get paid. You get paid. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then. It's like those uh, stimulus checks. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, so, yeah. So, Halloween. I'm giving, I'm giving you a week to decorate, but. But Halloween the day. So this year it's on a Monday. You don't get to give out one piece of candy until 7 p.m. Halloween. And you have to make sure that the child is between the years of 0 and 12. If they're outside of that age range, you do not give them candy. It starts at 6 p.m. At 6 p.m. anyway. We're moving it to 7. So it's only one hour. No, we'll bump it to seven to ten. We can do a little late because you gotta be. It's gotta be dark out. You can't do this daytime. I, it Halloween is fucking stuff. Fucking stupid when they do daylight savings time and shit, and that's yeah. fucking still light out. Yeah. So seven to ten, we're gonna adjust it. Ages zero to twelve. That's it. That's all you get. Zero to twelve. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can have a baby. I remember we, like, I remember it, like stopping trick or treating, and yeah. then like my senior year, like we went. No, and dude. I got like more candy than I ever did because we kept going to different neighborhoods because we had a car. I remember one of the years, the one of the first years I stopped going and I gave out candy. I think it was like a weekday. And fucking Aaron Ruley and Dan Rutkowski showed up at my door <laughs> for candy. I was like, what are you doing here? It's like, you're not even in a costume. <laughs> we weren't either. Yeah. I was when like, we were seniors. They're like, oh, can I give a piece of candy? And I was like, no, you gotta have a costume. Get out of here. Get the fuck out. I, I do. Did they trick or treat? Bro. Yeah, they trick were trick or, or treat. Were yeah. trick or treat? Yeah, yeah. They came up to the door. I and think everything. we just knocked on the door because they didn't know it was my house. They just they're like, "Oh, I didn't know." I think they were kind of embarrassed. <laughs> I think we just like there was like a group of us. I mean, there was like fucking like ten of us that went. Yeah, and like we drove to different neighborhoods. <laughs> we had, <laughs> they had cars. <laughs> Once you can drive, you shouldn't be trick or treating. <laughs> You go from neighborhood to neighborhood. Yeah, dude. Like, I seriously had like three full fucking uh, pillow sacks. <laughs> so that's why I'm making the rules: zero to twelve only, and you don't give you you cannot give out a piece of candy outside the hours of seven and p.m. and ten p.m. on the thirty first of October. Then the next day, it all comes down, and you don't touch a decoration for anything until the fifteenth of December. Now Thanksgiving. Here's what we're going to do for this, okay? Thanksgiving works. It's one day, and it works in a way that you get the one day a year to eat as much as you want. I don't care what your Thanksgiving meal is. You Turkey's traditional, but you can do whatever you want. We, uh, I, Yeah, I had to make a new tradition last year, so. It's true, yeah. So um, you can do whatever you want. But um, Black, the uh, Black Friday, I say... Make it official. Unless you're working retail, you get Thursday and Friday off. You get that. It makes sense. It makes sense. It does. Because how many people call off on that Friday anyway? Right. Everybody does it. Just stop trying to make people work that. And you, it, it's just another holiday. I agree with that. Thanksgiving's a two day holiday. And if some people are like, well, yeah, but we thought, you know, we killed all the Indians. It's not terrible. Okay. Then let's just change. You don't have to be Thanksgiving. We can call it. Let's call it fucking food festival day. We can call it food festival day. Oh, you know what? It is body positivity day <laughs> because you can be beautiful at any size for the for that for, it, that, for that day only. <laughs> you no, we'll even do this because if the Irish could get a week, fat people can get a week. They, uh, they, yes, they get a whole week. We get a whole week off and we eat. Body positivity. Body day. positivity week. Or week. You get a whole week and then you get to eat all week. And then on Friday, you get to celebrate by spending money. You know how depressed people would be after that week? Yes. <laughs> yes. But then it goes right into the, ho- the Christmas yeah. season. Yeah. And that, that's why Christmas has to start December 1st. No, the 15th. The fifteenth, you no, got to you got to uh, get a two week no. withdrawal. You can't just go right into one festival well, to another. I, I understand it. I understand that, right? But if you wait till the fifteenth, you know how many suicides are going to happen 
because people are going to be so depressed after they eat for a week. And then the next holiday is too far away. So you need to start no, feeling jolly me. right away. No, you don't want to. See, I'm, I'm thinking the opposite. You don't want to OD on fun. So you need to get a you little break. You can't OD on fun. That's like ODing on weed. You cannot do it. <laughs> it's impossible. So that in that is my rules for holidays. Now, if you look at the look at what I laid out, it's all ridiculous. All you all you're giving up is some extra decoration time, but you're getting so much decoration more. Decoration time's great. Though. And we're getting to take care of we get to we get to celebrate uh all the all the cultures in in races, but okay, so. and the and the veterans and the workers and the what what else the fat on, people on on on, and if you're Jewish, you get to still take all the same holidays you normally do. We just lump that in. You can we just don't cover them. Yeah, um, because I don't know them all. <laughs> That's you. but uh, like for real, like uh, for Christmas, um, I kind of understand why people like start decu- decorating like late november ish just because it's warmer especially around here you know yeah. it's warmer outside if you're gonna put lights on the house and shit like that i think we need less decorations so it's get- just because you're a lazy fuck and you don't want to put them up and you're a fucking debbie downer and a no fun frank what are you talking about Do we get I've, I've given i'm giving people a week off in march to drink and you're a being, and a, you're being a fuck a week- you're being a fuck their holiday harry you get a week off to drink you get a, a week off to eat. You get a week off to celebrate Martin Luther King. You get a week. You get a you get a, a month for if you're if you're African American. <laughs> it's it's perfect. No, no, nah, man, your your ideas are all fucked. And you know what? If if because you have no fun in these ideas. And here's how we're gonna make this right too. Because it's like, well, we're given we give. Black I bet people. you want to take the little people leprechauns out of, of uh, St. Patrick's Day too. Well, I, I do think that's I do think that's that's problematic. It's not problematic. It's problematic. It's a problematic issue. But this is how this is. I think this is the most fair that anybody can anybody can make this because I don't think I think that it, it is way it's way out of control right now. You're probably you you probably also want gender neutral bathrooms that everywhere. Yeah. You know why? Because think about this. I think I think that we should do this. We should remove. We should get rid of the urinal. <laughs> we should remove the urinal, and every bathroom is the same. No, dude. You know how much money people would save with that. The, the companies would but save. But the urinal is so convenient. It, it, uh, is it though? Like yes. Ah, it's 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 always awkward when you got like two people take the ends and you don't want to sit in the you don't want to take the middle one or if you're an asshole you take the middle one out of three and everyone's like I don't know if I want to stand this close to this guy. Well, yeah, but that's like the unwritten rule of the urinal. Yeah, but that's all I'm saying. Just remove the urinal, and then on top of that, all this stuff about like what bathroom you can use if you're if you're trans goes out the window. It doesn't matter anymore. You can use whatever bathroom you want. Nobody cares. Everyone cares. I mean, people. You know what'll happen though. You watch this. If you took, if you took, made all the bathrooms the same, and you took the little like, the, you know, the little like figurine yeah. off the door of like a man or a woman, yeah, there'd be so many rapes. <laughs> I don't think so. I, here, you know what would end up happening though? People would still just use their own the gendered bathroom, just on their own. You, they wouldn't know which one was which. They would know because they would walk in one and it would be disgusting. <laughs> and that'd probably be the women's. <laughs> yes, true. <laughs> And then, so then he would start using the men's. See, I, and the men's would and, be disgusting. And men would not would stop using bathrooms and start just pissing on trees and shit. And they'd yeah. be like, "Let the women just have their bathrooms." See, so I what always, would end up happening is all the women would have bathrooms, and men would just go outside. See, I always figured like women's bathrooms were real nice with like a sofa in there, like fucking like a little waterfall, to, like you know, set the mood. Maybe some scented candles. You know, maybe like a. Um, Channing Tatum flick playing in the corner, um, you know, just maybe like soothing music. But no, yeah. it's all full of fucking it's, shit. It and blood. smells like a, it smells like a, a Middle Eastern uh, fish market. All right, just imagine a, a fish market in the middle of the desert. <laughs> That's what it smells like. It's disgusting. There's receptacles filled with s- nasty used tampons. Yes, it's gross. There was a time Fetuses. when I was working a corporate job, 
I probably have told you this story. There was this, I remember I got into the office and it was a big open office. There was like at least a hundred people on this floor and there was two bathrooms. I think I know where you were working. Yeah. One for men, one for women. And it was just enough, you know, it would just, sometimes there'd be a little bit of a line because there was so many people. I remember I, I was, uh, it was about 10 a.m. and I went up to go get a coffee and I heated up a little oatmeal thing so I could eat at my desk. And I was like, mm, man, somebody must have been eating some like leftover fish. It had that that smell of like, you know, that smell of like of a fish fillet. Yeah, yeah, like a fillet of fish type thing where you just microwave something like a yeah. fish stick. Yeah. So I was like, maybe somebody's eating <laughs> oh, their you lunch like early. Fish sticks? Yeah. And they're just eating like some leftover fish. Stick. Oh, that's interesting. A couple hours later, I see all the women on every team go together. I'm like, what is there a meeting? And they're like, no, no, no this is a meeting only for the women. And I found out it was because the fucking hygiene receptacles in the women's bathrooms are so out of control. They were th- they they stopped putting them in the receptacle. They were just throwing them everywhere. Ugh. And that's what I was smelling in the office. Giant office. You've seen it. Yeah. You it's giant. And I was able to smell it. That's, that's the women's disgusting. bathrooms. So that's what's that's what would happen. I think we just take degender the bathrooms and slowly let the women take over the bathrooms and us men just piss on trees we'll start we'll start pissing on trees and shitting in buckets and unless you want to use the one in your home that's a, that's all you get that's all you well, get that's a terrible idea no but you know what end up happening women will be like well, I want to use the bucket <laughs> why can't I use the bucket like you don't get, we, let us use the bucket. You and know then, that's then what we women ev- do. Then we eventually get the bathrooms back. We'll get the yeah, because then they're like, why? Why do you guys get to just go in buckets all the time? I want to go in a bucket. I want to piss on a tree. That's unfair. You guys get to use buckets. I want to piss on a tree. Yeah, I just want to be able to just spread open and just piss Stay on a tree. Golden pony boy. Yeah. And so that's how we get. And they're like, okay, yeah, yeah, you can use the bucket. And then, then the. Then the transgenders are like, well, wait a minute. If the women get to use the buckets, but I re- I identify as a woman, I want to use the buckets too. And then the next thing you know, us men get the bathrooms. Ba- we get all the bathrooms and all the women well, then guess are what? using buckets. The, their buckets are going to be decorated because people love fucking decorations at Halloween. It'll be like a retro thing. <laughs> It'll be like back in my day, men pissed in buckets, not in this hoity-toity bathroom stuff. And women were in there. No, man, they're gonna they're gonna start decorating their buckets because people yeah. love decorations. They do, but it's just too early. But you still get a whole month for Halloween. No, that's that's the conclusion of this hypothesis. You can only, here's 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 what here's my argument. You don't get a whole month for Halloween because we've already given a whole month in June. So you're base if basically if you want a month of Halloween, <laughs> you're racist. You don't. <laughs> You don't That's have you're saying. you don't have Juneteenth decorations. No, but I'm just saying you only get the one, and you can choose a month the month of Halloween or a month for Juneteenth. No, no, this is so, don't you're not turning this against me because so, there's no decorations. This is all about decorations. Yeah. So decorations can be put up all October yeah. for Halloween. If you want to be racist, no, it doesn't make you racist. <laughs> That's, that's not that's not the thing. This is not, no. That's I'm not la- allowing that to turn this into because you're not putting up you're not putting up Martin Luther King machete heads. <laughs> machete. <laughs> you just fucking like you have a machete. That's, that's, why would you paper mache paper mache? <laughs> well, that's why that's why we have to like limit or or you could have heads of Danny Trevino <laughs> of machete. It's him or I'm okay. Yeah. No. Well, see, that's why that's why we have to keep we have to keep white people out of the Juneteenth. <laughs> we gotta keep white gotta keep white people because, away from everything. Because here's the thing. If we let white people in on Juneteenth for the month, if we do the new one where you get the whole month off, they would they would start doing that shit where they start doing weird decorations and we have the same conversation we're having about Halloween for that. You got a 13 foot Rosa Parks statue yeah, outside. out of some fucking on some white lady's lawn. It's the will be insane. 
That would be insane. And you know, you know some white woman would do that. Oh, I know. They, they probably start, do now. They would start doing that type of shit. And you know what happened? A nice black family would be driving by and be like, fucking white people. <laughs> fucking white people, dude. That's the moral of the story. That's the moral of this whole episode is fucking white people. I'm so ashamed. <laughs> oh, anyway. I think that kind of wraps it up. Yeah. I think this is the wokest episode we've ever yeah, done. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> It didn't. It didn't start that way. But your fucking <laughs> holiday, fucking ideas are fucking crazy. Um, but yeah, there's, <laughs> there's, uh, you know, there's a time. You still get a month for Halloween. You still get a month for Christmas. But it's got to be reasonable. It can't be September thirteenth, and you have a graveyard in your front yard, unless you live by a cemetery. I don't know. I think. I think what I outlined is a good. It's a good foundation, but living in the chaos that you're talking about. And, you know, this is the season that I always wished that I was still a virgin because I would like to light the black flame candle and bring back the Sanderson sisters. Oh, that's it. It's all a bunch of hocus pocus, Melvin. All a bunch of hocus pocus. That's what it is. It is a bunch of hocus pocus. Thackery Binks. Thackery Binks. It's the cat. Thackery. Fuck yeah, the Sanderson sisters coming all month from October 1st to the 31st. Hollow's Eve, they're coming with the sequel. Hocus Pocus 2, 30 years later, they're going to be old. But I hope they bring back the Frankenstein. Can't think of his name. They brought him back in the first movie and he lost his head. But then he came back and he helped the boy with his little girlfriend and the little daughter named Danny. Oh, Danny boy. Thackeray Binks. Thackeray Binks. Thackeray Binks. Turned back into a boy. But he was a ghost. So he joined Emily. That was his sister. Are we just doing the whole movie right now? Are we doing a scene for scene recreation of the movie? In that song. Was- In song. <laughs> That's, is this why Halloween needs to be just one day? No, this the is- whole month. Anyway, you could probably get that on an album that I'm going to drop soon. But until next time, what you're going to do, brother, when the 64-bit legends decorate their house for all of October for all the 64-bit maniacs to come by and get candy from Melvin Troy because he loves handing out candy on October 31st and he wishes it could be the entire month. So what you're going to do? When you listen to this episode and you get all the crazy holiday ideas that Melvin Troy displayed on us, 